Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. For those of you who are first learning Photoshop, I'm going to show you how to easily make a pop art poster of someone and later I'll show you how to add text to it. You can apply these techniques to virtually anyone. This document is 8 by 10 inches with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Open your image of someone and press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy. We'll remove all the color by pressing Ctrl Shift U on a PC or Command Shift U on a Mac. Apply auto levels by pressing Ctrl Shift L or Command Shift L. We need to make a selection around the head and body so we can separate it from its background. There are many ways to make a selection so choose the method that's the easiest and most effective for you. For this example, I'll use the pencil tool. Make sure your foreground and background colors are black and white, respectively. If they aren't, press this icon or the D on your keyboard. If the colors are reversed, press X. Click on the Quick Mask box and choose a relatively small brush size with a hardness of 100%. Make the blend mode normal and the opacity also 100%. Draw around the face and body. It doesn't have to be perfect, but make sure there are no holes in the line. Go to the Paint Bucket tool and click anywhere inside the body to fill it in. Press Q to make the quick mask into a selection and Control or Command Delete to fill the outside of the head and body with the background color, which is white. Press Control or Command D to delete the selection. Go to Image, Adjustments, and Posterize. Choose 2 for the levels and click OK. Go to Filter, Noise, and Median. I'll choose 7 pixels for this image. Experiment with different numbers to get just the right look for yours. If you want to smooth out some of the edges, repeat the last filter by pressing Ctrl or Command F. This look creates a smooth, simple, almost logo-like look. It does a much better job of doing this than the stamp and note paper filters, as well as the adjustments such as threshold and color range. Let's make a thick border around our portrait. Click on the FX icon and choose Stroke. Make the position inside and increase its size to Taste. We need to make a selection of our entire image. Open your Channels panel and click on the dotted circular icon. This makes a selection of our entire image. Open back up your Layers panel and click on the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Open your Gradient tool. I'm using the Linear Gradient. Click on the Gradient box. Click on the lower left stop and click on the Color box. Pick a color and click OK. Then click on the lower right stop and pick another color. Now close the Color and Gradient windows. Go to the bottom of your document and press and hold Shift as you drag up a line to the top. Then Release. Delete the selection. Control click or Command click on the New Layer icon. This makes a new layer below the active layer. Click on the foreground color and pick a color for your background. To fill the layer with your color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. If you like, you can add text to your pop art poster. I'll use Ape Lincoln for our example. Open your Type tool and choose a font. I'm using Air Conditioner. Its size is 197 points, Smooth, Center Text, and click on the color box to choose a color. I like to use the same color as my background, so I'll just click on the background to pick up its color, click OK, and type out my text. I'll go to the Move tool and move it down. To center your text horizontally on the poster, open your Rectangular Marquee tool and drag a rectangle across your entire document. Click back on your Move tool and click on the Align Horizontal Centers icon. Then delete the selection. Using these simple techniques, have fun making your own pop art poster. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.